ideas, what techniques, what techniques will we be using to paint the first leaf, the maple leaf? Any ideas? Let's look at our technique sheet and see what we can come up with. Hmm. Looking at that picture, and what what could we use? Water and water. Water and water. Yep, that's good. Go ahead. Some scratching for the veins. Scratching for the veins. Perfect. Any other ideas? Sponge. Sponge. Absolutely. Use the sponge. All right. And how about a little bit of drop color? All right. So I'm ready to begin. Are you guys ready to begin? We only need the maple leaf. Do you have the maple leaf drawn? Oh, no, I just had three different leaves. Okay, why don't you put that one on and draw the maple one quick. So I'm just going to talk about how I would approach painting this. Um, I'm going to start on the left side, and I'll probably just uh, make use yellow initially and I would use it very translucently with a lot of water to just to get it to feed around. Then most likely I would do some drop color in there of green to try to get the, the flow of it to happen. One thing that I might want to consider doing too is if I wanted, I see the texture here on the leaf, I might want to use a little salt possibly or take my sponge in there and then I would creep up on the left side and kind of start to add a little bit of orange in, maybe a little red in. I'd probably stop there and then I would pull some veins over on the left hand side and then I'd continue over on the right, pulling out more yellow and dropping in some orange and possibly red and just work my way around maybe adding a little salt in there, maybe using my sponge. I know that I will have to use my uh, fine round brush to get those points. And just overall looking at it going, okay, this is gonna be challenging, but it's gonna be fun. All right, so, what? That's a really good question. So if you guys were to start, what brush would we use to begin with? Any ideas? Flat. You could use a medium flat. Yes, absolutely. So I need to clean my medium flat and make sure that there's no paint on it because I hate to cross contaminate. The other thing I want to have in my hand as I'm working, remember I talked about those fine points. I probably want to have a small round brush ready to go. And I'm just kind of holding off just for one more second. Are we ready to just kind of get going? I'm going to start to make my yellow. Just kind of get it, um, my, it's kind of thickening up. So I'm going to add a little water to this and start to get it to be kind of translucent. Kind of, so remember when we first open up a pack of watercolors and we just take our brush across it and we notice that when we paint it, it's super light. That's what we kind of want. But I want a lot of it because it's a big leaf. I also am, before I begin, I want to make sure that there is water that has been dropped into my green and that has not been dried out. So I'm adding a little bit of water. What? Oh, I haven't done anything yet. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. All right, so I'm taking my flat brush, my medium flat, and I'm gonna start painting this leaf. Now I have those sharp points on the end, and if this brush does not work, I have my small round one ready to go. So I also wanna make sure I have my reference image in front of me so I know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna begin and I'm starting to just fill in the areas with yellow. Well, it looks like that flat brush did really well. Now when we actually start our final one, we wanna make sure 
that uh, our pencil lines are very light and mine are kind of dark so you all can see them on the smart board. And you can see it's pretty, pretty thick. It, I'm getting it on there. Now I'm dipping my brush into the water just to kind of push the color around a little bit more. Going around those edges. Now I'm just going to go up to this point here on the leaf. I'm going to stop when I get there. All right, now I'm going to drop some green uh, paint in there, but I want to be careful not to use too much. And I'm just going to grab a scoop. Are we and I'm, supposed to paint the open yes, but we're only doing one half at a time. Oh, okay. Yep, um, because I'm fearful of the time that we have. So I'm now dropping the green in. And I'm kind of pushing it around with my brush. to pay attention to the green areas. And that looks pretty good. And you're like, Miss Hawker, what's happening? Now I'm gonna take my smaller brush and I'm actually just gonna push this around a little. Push that color around. And I got maybe a little bit heavy on the green, but oh well, it's a leaf. Just gonna pull it around to these edges, that point. All right, something that's kind of fun. We have the white paper towels in the back and I should have had you grab some of those. Um, but you can use your sponge or a paper towel So I'm going to take my paper towel and I can kind of pick up a little bit. And I got a little bit over too much water on, but that's, you know, that's fine. I can suck it up a little bit. But you see how that texture is starting to come hold, take hold here? Here is my sponge doing it, just picking up some of the color. So I'm just showing you a couple different techniques. Oh, it's kind of magical how it, when it comes together. It makes my heart sing a beautiful song. Oh, it's like, wow, there it is. In the beginning, it kind of looked funny. It's just coming together. Taking my sponge. And I do need to uh, soak up a little. I got a little bit too much water on there, so I am taking my paper towel, and I'm kind of picking up the excess moisture. And I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's not bad. I am gonna pull some veins. If I wanted to, I could pull some veins. And it might be a little wet and it's not working quite yet, but I might pull it again in a couple minutes. All right, looks pretty good. I'm ready to move to the other side now. We're not done with the left side yet completely. We gotta let it set up. Well, we're going over to our right side. Does that sound good? Are we ready to move on? Or no? No? I took the beveled edge and pulled up. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working better. While I'm waiting for friends to kind of catch up, I can take my small round brush and I'm dipping it into the yellow paint and I can clean up my edges a little bit if I need to. Some of them got a little wily. Just kind of clean them up. Just sharpening them up. Are you guys noticing the paper difference now? Painting on this different paper? Mm -hmm. 
see how just taking that small round brush around the edges kind of just tidies it up and sharpens it up. And the leaf is starting to have a nice variety of value and the texture adds some nice form to it. All right. Maybe I'll do a little bit more on this edge. Sharpen that up. All right, ready for the other side? Here we go. I'm gonna take my paintbrush, and this time I'm gonna use a round just for fun. And I'm gonna start filling it up with the yellow, the right side. But I know that I'll probably have to work quickly again to add the yellow and the orange in. Now I know that I have a colored pencil here that is, I think it's a, a red orange, that I can sandpaper in some of that color into the leaf to add a nice texture to it. So I will take my red orange and kind of scrape a little bit of texture into it. a little black in there as well. Just a little fun, adding a little element there. I'm also gonna take my tiny round brush right now. What? I'm gonna take my tiny round brush. I'm gonna pick up a little orange and I'm gonna to start to drop some color in over here. Get it to bleed in. Now, hopefully, there we go. When I do hit some of those dots of color, they will kind of spread out. And the, the leaf is starting to take shape. I am gonna use a little bit more orange, kind of drop it in. And I'm looking at my sample. And as I'm doing this, I'm like, oh, it's kind of more red. So I'm gonna take a little red. and drop a little red into it. And I'm going back to my yellow brush and I'm going to just kind of pull it down. Got a little heavy there, so I'm gonna take my sponge or my paper towel and blot it, get that texture pulled up. And then I noticed my green over here looks kind of dead, so I'm gonna just get this to pop up a little bit. And just grab a little bit more yellow, working my way around. And when I'm working here, I'm noticing, geez, I really like my flat brush better. It does a nicer job, so I want to grab my flat brush, and I'm, <coughs> like I told you yesterday, if I was on an island and I only had one paintbrush, I'd want a flat, run, flat brush. And on this section, I'm going to definitely need more orange, so I'm going to just start dropping that in and getting it to blend. The thing about watercolors is you do have to work quickly. You can't really stop for too long because then a section will start to dry out on you. So you have to be mindful of that. Oh, I forgot to pull the veins over there. Oh dear, hopefully we can still do that. I take my sponge and just kind of got a little ahead of myself there. 
might come back and pull those better later. Try to at least. You gotta keep this side moving. Oh boy, did I have a moment there. All right. I'm gonna grab a little red. Am I going too fast or too slow? Too fast. All right, I'll try to just do this one little section and slow down. Thank you. Um, when watercolors dry, they dry lighter. So it's always kind of sometimes you come back to something and you're like, oh, I thought the color, I used a deeper color. And it normally dries pretty light, depending on your water usage. So over here, I made a mistake. You can see I have a little extra wing there. So I need to have a Bob Ross moment and make it a happy little accident. And I am crispening up the edges there so they pop a little bit more. And you can see at the bottom here, I have water pooling. Um, and that just hopefully I can move forward on painting. I'm a little nervous that things are gonna dry out on me. But we'll just start to kind of work it down, work those colors down. So I filled it in, and again, I'm gonna take my watercolor pencil and I'm gonna sandpaper some color into it. This time I'm using a little black. And I will take a little bit of the red. And I am gonna use my watercolor pencil that has red in it. And I am going to draw with it into the edges. Just to sharpen those edges up, it's just another way. Remember just to show you how you can use it. and I kind of missed a spot there. So now we need to kind of bridge those two sides together. This is the tricky part. I am actually taking some yellow and just kind of getting it to bleed over to the other side. And I'm getting, it's getting kind of muddied up, but we actually kind of want a little bit of that happening to a certain degree. Just to add a little bit more to it, I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna finish it off. And then I'm gonna pull my lines. And then tomorrow we will do the um, the stem of the, the leaf and we'll quit for today. I mean, I want you to finish it, but I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna talk while you're working.